Hey guys, welcome back to Captain Bailey's Adventures, and today we're looking at, at uh, Amphora's Black Cavendish. Now, I haven't had Cavendish, straight Cavendish, Black Cavendish, whatever, any type of Cavendish. I haven't had, had that straight like this since my, the, the smoke shop days, when I used to go, you know, go and you could sample. You know, I can feel my, you know, nowadays I think it's like a dollar a pinch or something, the sample. Uh, some places, maybe more now, I don't know, because uh, I don't go to smoke shops anymore. Um, but back in the day, when I used to, and I had a real nice one, I mean, the guy was cool, man. I could fill, fill my bowl. And, you know, I would buy cigars and stuff, but then I would just fill my bowl and uh, smoke whatever I wanted. And it was cool like that. Uh, nowadays, you can't do, do diddly squat. But, uh, yeah, that was back in the day. So I haven't had it since then, so it's been years. Um, so I picked this up because uh, Pipes and Cigars is running a uh, sale this month till the end of September for uh, pouch tobacco. So the Amphora was on sale, so I picked up a, a, a Virginia and this. And I picked up another tin of uh, Peterson's Sherlock Holmes just to have. You know, so uh, this is this is, seems a lot like a marquee. Uh, edition, uh, like a more special than their regular, you know, and for his regular go-to blends, I guess, or whatever. I mean, the, the, the packaging is, you know, gold wrapper and all fancy dancy and, uh, you know, cursive. It's hard, it's hard for me to read this. So this is Amphora's Special Reserve Black Cavendish. Black Cavendish is a rich, superior blend of the finest, uh, double fermented, dark and spicy tobaccos blended for the connoisseur. Yeah, so this was packaged on the seven twenty one twenty two. So a little over a year in the package. Now let's give it a crack and then once I get it in the pipe and I'll pause the video and then we'll come back and we'll take a look at it. So a little nice packaging. Um, it says here and for special reserve offers the connoisseur an opportunity to experience a superb range of carefully blended pipe tobaccos. From the moment you break the seal and let the rich aroma awaken your senses, at the moment you ignite your pipe and taste the robust aromatic and intensely enjoyable flavor of the Black Cavendish, you will recognize a superior pipe tobacco that provides a range of experiences, finest tobacco, finest Virginia tobaccos, and double fermented uh, to produce a rich dark tobacco which combines uh, perfectly with amber amber tones of the burley oriental and kentucky leaf the result is a fine balanced blend with the luxurious slow burn and full body spicy okay wow they really pay, uh, pay, paid somebody some good money to write so nice nice uh, <laughs> all, all that jazz on there so uh, yeah it sounds enticing doesn't it all right so let's give it a crack Okay, yeah, so there is some Oriental in here. So this isn't just regular plain uh, black Cavendish. This, as you heard on that, it's got some other things. But uh, the reason why I wanted to pick up some Cavendish was because of uh, Sailor the Piper Man. You know, Miguel, he was, you know, he's been spoken at this re uh, recently. Well, not this blend, but some uh, bulk uh, Cavendish. And uh, he's really been enjoying it. So I was like, oh, I haven't had it long time so let me let me try it so well this you know we'll see how this goes i mean it's an aromatic well i don't know if it's considered an aromatic now or not but anyway yeah, there's a smokiness there's a smoky esqueness to it so i guess there is yeah so we got oriental and kentucky in here and virginia so yeah very exotic smell i'm getting it's not like i'm you know i'm not saying that this is you know comparable to any type of bulking or anything like that but it has that because the oriental's in here so i was thinking more or less when i heard black cavendish i was thinking about something a little more sweeter uh you know something not what i'm smelling basically to me this is smelling like you know you got that hint of campfire and something else just like a 
getting like a wine type of. Yeah, I'm just getting some awesome, awesome flavor profile on this. <laughs> this was worth getting and trying. I mean, just from this aroma. So let me pause the video, fill my bowl, and we'll give it a taste test. All right, we're back. Let's give this a. Let's light this bitch on fire, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Ah, what else? I need a little more fluid in this lighter. in my go-to pipe, which is coloring up nicely. You can see all the red hues on this side here really coming in now. And that's because what really started bringing out the color in my pipe here was the uh, Colt Blood Red Moon. So I definitely am gonna put that on my rotation to keep coloring this thing because it really did bring out the some darker colors in here. and I just can't get this thing lit. There we go. Mm. Mm. Very interesting from that Oriental thing going on there. So it's not overly smoky as I would think. You know, it's not, I'm not getting that campfire. I'm getting a smoky-esque there, it's, it's just different, you know? I, I don't know how to describe it. I'm not going to dish though, but... Getting that taste like you would from a, a Vulcan or a uh, English blend. But not the bitter sourness that I know you get. Very interesting. So like I said, I, I, I've been watching Miguel and he's been ranting about some Cavendish. So, so I give it a go. I didn't realize that this had some bunch of other stuff in it. But it's a you know it's a marquee blend. It's a you know higher up on the chain, I guess. And it was on sale, so so I figured why not? I'm pretty much stocked up now, so I don't need to buy anything for a little for a while now. I got uh. What do I got? Because you know me, I don't like to, you know, have a cellar and, you know, have all this tobacco laying around because, you know, there's no way I see it is. I'm the only one that smokes, right? So I, I wind up croaking. <laughs> you know, Captain ain't going to be around forever. You know, it's going to be ridiculous to, like, if, you know, like, I just don't see the sense in it. I really don't see the sense in, ha in overbuying and having a cellar. I mean, unless there's something really that you think's gonna disappear or something, you know, then, then maybe get a couple tins. But that's just for me. I mean, it's like, cause like, then, then it's gonna be up to your family to, you know, to get rid of all that stuff later down the road. And how, you know, and then you gotta do private sales, you know, it's just, it's a hassle. I would think it'd be a hassle. Especially when I see some of you guys out there with massive, massive drawers and drawers upon cigars and uh, pipe tobacco. Like, you wouldn't be able to smoke that in your lifetime. Is it a klepto thing? Is it a, a hoarding thing? Maybe. I don't know. Hobby. You know, some, some of our hobbies we get we get crazy with. And you know, we wind up overindulging. But, I digress. That's a topic for another day, I guess. Whatever. I'm just ranting. I mean, I got, you know, this is, this is the Captain's Weekly video, right? So, this is all I got for now. But you're getting some notes, you're getting that smoky note there, you're getting some spices. It's sweet. Oh yeah. It's some good stuff. 
think I'm really going to enjoy this. Yeah, and like I said, I'm, st I'm stocked up. I got this, Virginia, and for Virginia, for Virginia, uh, Peterson, Sherlock Holmes. I got a little bit of Captain Black original left. Uh, I finished that bulk of uh, Carter Hall match. I finished that. That's dumb. Would I buy it again? Probably not. Didn't do too much for me in the end. Um, and there was, uh, and I also have uh, Robert Lewis's tree mixture. That's always a good one. I like cracking that when the weather starts changing, get a little bit colder. Get that uh, English type blend with that campfire smoke, which is a lot stronger than this, obviously. But yeah. I think that's it. I don't think it, uh, mm. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. So I hope everybody's well out there in the YTPC. And, and as you know, in the Bruin front, I just did the uh, the IPA. The uh, Torpedo Clone. And let me tell you, that, that will set you sailing. A couple of them and you're good. And I like, in fact, because like I said, when I did the side-by-side -side and then... It's, the torpedo for me is, it's so hoppy and, and, and bitter that uh, I can only like drink one at a time. Now my homebrew, I can drink more than one. I can have two. I can have two tops and be good. It doesn't really, but, but for some reason the hop, the, 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 the torpedo with all those hops, it's very bitter and it like, I don't know, it just doesn't lay, it doesn't agree with my stomach a little bit, you know? I gotta start getting a little bit of, you know, not reflux, but I think maybe some GERD or something going on, a little bit of reflux, you know, it just doesn't, doesn't go good. And it maybe it could be, you know, what I'm pairing with, you know, meal-wise, you know, but, yeah, it's a good beer, but it's not for me too often, but the homebrew version of it, because like I said, I scaled it down with the hops, it seems okay. With my stomach. So, next on deck is my pumpkin ale because we're going in October. And it's lit. Oh, come on, really? Too much wind. And on that note, I'm going to have to go get this refilled. <laughs> and we back. And like I was saying, hmm. Saying, um, next on deck with the homebrew front is the uh, pumpkin ale. So I have to, like I said, get through this IPA. So it may be late October before I brew again. I don't know. I guess it all depends on how fast I drink this. And then I brew. So, so I'm over head. Just having a cup of Joe. This is uh, this New England Coffee Company. Uh, Blueberry cobbler. Really good stuff. Yeah. Really good. So I don't know, I guess not really don't have much else to say besides just rambling on, I guess. I guess that's it. So we're gonna sit back and enjoy this. Yeah. Really enjoying this black cavities special reserve. But, uh, yeah, I gotta check out Miguel's video again, see what um, what cavities he got. What was that bulk bulk blend? But uh, I don't know if it was black cavities he got or just cavities. I I forget. But uh, if you guys know, let me know in the comments or Miguel, if you watch this, let me know. I don't know if he watches my videos, but uh, yeah. So remember, guys, what me and the first mate always say, let's set sail.